2016 saw an increase in motorbike ownership. Around 40% of those new bikes were scooters or mopeds, with more and more people taking to two wheels for their commute to work. But these high value machines make a tempting target for criminals, and over 1,500 are stolen each month in the capital alone. As less than 20% of stolen motorbikes are recovered, people are turning to tracking companies like Richard Taylor's, who use the latest technology to trace stolen property and get it back. Today, Richard is tracking a scooter stolen in North London. This owner uses this scooter in London every single day, uh, so it's really important he gets his scooter back as urgently as possible. Richard follows the scooter's GPS tracking signal on a map, as you would with a car sat nav. Turn left on Seven Sisters Road. We've got a GPS in N7 area, um, but it's around the back of some flats or around the back of a building, so we can't pinpoint it to an exact residence. To do that, he uses a radio wave scanner. It's like a distress signal, and that'll help guide us in to where the, where the bike is hidden. And this could be it. Yeah, I can hear it. Can you hear it? This game of hide and seek with the crooks requires a lot of patience. Well, there is a scooter there, but there's no signal coming from that one. Definitely not the bike. <laughs> the RF signal has gone out of range, which means the scooter is on the move again. But all is not lost. The GPS picks up the route and the hunt is back on. The tracking data shows the bike heading east through London. Richard knows time isn't on his side. It's, it's not actually good news at this point. Normally, if they're on the move, they're going to be possibly stripped down for spare parts and, and sold. Although he's tracking the stolen scooter back and forth across London, he knows he has to keep his distance. Sometimes the stolen scooter's doing five or six miles an hour, sometimes the stolen scooter's doing 60 miles an hour. You can't risk the lives of these lads by chasing them or making them do something stupid. Uh, at the end of the day, we just want to get the scooter back for the customer. Then Richard gets surprising news from his client. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just had to call the owner of the stolen bike just to let him know we're still on the case. And he's just told me he believes he's seen his bike um, just go past him in the street with two other scooters, um, some nippers, 14, 15 years of age. And he tried to just talk to them and they rode off. We've got to try and catch him and get him off the street and get this bike back as soon as we can. The tracking data shows the scooter thieves aren't far away and Richard is right behind them. I feel like the net is closing. We're just picking up the RF now. We're, yeah, a few hundred yards away. Just means we're going in the right direction. That should get louder and louder. He's led to a housing estate. And now the radio wave scanner pinpoints the bike. The louder the bleeps, the closer they are. It's a game of cat and mouse as Richard drives around the estate trying to zone in on the scooter and he may have found it. It's in an alleyway. There's, we don't know who's going to be behind those. Even though it's daytime, it all looks pretty safe and serene and no problem, but um, I'd rather have the police in attendance. Police, please. Police, thank you. It's not long before reinforcements arrive. So is it you that came to see us? Yes, yes, yes. I'm Richard, I'm from the tracking company. As the scooter is on private property, the trackers need the police to gain access and as backup in case the thieves are still about. That's and sure it. enough, the tracker leads them straight to the stolen scooter. With a spate of drive-by snatch thefts in London, it's possible this scooter has been stolen to use in other crimes. The police recover the bike to check it out for prints and DNA. We've arranged for a forensic lift um, of this moped because it's stolen. We need to obviously preserve um, any evidence, so things like the handlebars will be swabbed. 
This will be one happy owner who'll soon have their scooter back. Glad they had a tracker installed. We've gone right up to the bike, identified the bike, and after a few hours being given the run around, we're, we're on top, so that's great.